Hi there, welcome to Grains TV. It's Thursday, December 17th. What a wild ride it was in Grains. We started the day on negative ground, but we ended the day substantially higher for beans up 14 and a half, corn up four and a half, and wheat only fractionally higher, uh, gaining half a cent. News today was a sort of a mixed bag. We continue to be concerned about the issues in Argentina. They have now started to let their currency float, which means a devaluation of their peso and the potential for their uh, exports to be substantially cheaper in the world market as a result. So that's a negative factor uh, influencing the grains, but there was some good news in the way of export sales out of um, to, uh, I'm sorry, to China. We had a 424,000 metric ton deal announced this morning by USDA. So that was certainly positive. All in all, I don't think we had a game changer here, but we did see some positive uh, reaction, probably a little short covering rally as a result of the uh, getting closer to the holidays. Uh, let's take a look at export sales for the week. USDA's weekly totals were not substantially uh, positive. We see corn down below expectations at only uh, 579,000 metric tons versus expectations of 700 to 950. Beans falling just below the number expected uh, at 887 and wheat coming in line with expectations. Other news out today that may have helped the bullish momentum was uh, news from Informa. They came out with revised project projections on planted acres for corn and beans in 2016. And in particular, they showed quite a bit of a drop in their soybean planting projection going to 84.5 million acres versus previous forecast of 85.3. Corn off only slightly 88.9 versus 90.1. So that may have some uh, indication that, you know, getting the shorts to cover, but it's not really, again, something that's going to lead to a long-term recovery here. Although, you know, as we get closer into spring, the market may start to worry a little bit about planted acreage. But right now, the demand side fundamentals are certainly negative. We're facing a lot of competition, uh, especially in wheat and corn. Beans were still having good robust business, but the potential for their crop to be large in South America is going to hinder our potential to sell in the second half of the season. That's all we got today on Grain TV. Tune in tomorrow when we'll talk about the weekly breakfast.